Hello, everyone, and welcome to this chemistry webinar sponsored by Natural Chemistry and BioLab, focusing on specialty chemicals for custom water care. Natural Chemistry has been a pioneer in specialty water care since 1989 as a leader in enzymes, phosphate removal, and now water clarification with the addition of C-Clear. Natural Chemistry provides proven solutions to pool and spa water care needs. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, a couple of notes before we get started. If you would like to ask a question, please utilize the control panel on the right side of your screen. Our speakers from BioLab will address questions at the end of the presentation. Also, shortly after the conclusion of the presentation, you will receive an email with information on how to watch this webinar again and how to share it with your colleagues. Feel free to reach out to us if you have trouble accessing that. My name is Scott Webb. I'm editor at Aqua Magazine, and today we have with us Alicia Stevens. Alicia is the education and training manager for BioLab. In her 20 years with BioLab, Alicia has focused primarily on education, training, and development. She also assists with technical support, new product research, and integration. She leads all education and training initiatives for the BioLab Pro Dealer Division and is based out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. So we've got a lot to cover today, a lot to learn. So let's get started. Uh, Alicia, over to you. Hi guys, uh, thanks for tuning in today. I'm happy to be here with you. I have to say it's nice to, not that I can quote unquote see you, but it's nice to be talking to someone other than my cat who just meows back at me a lot and puts hair on my keyboard. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we're, we are excited to be here and talk to you today about some specialty chemicals for custom water care. So where I wanna start real quick is to talk about what, what do pool owners want, right? So no matter what you're doing, whether you're a service professional or you're a retail professional, pool owners all want the same thing. They want clean, clear, beautiful water. They want, they want it to be easy, super easy maintenance, and they don't wanna have any problems. So we have to focus in on how do we deliver exactly what pool owners want. So we start with a couple of must-haves. You have to balance your water, right? We're not going to talk about water balance here today. That's not the point of this webinar, but it is a part of pool care. So you have to balance your water. You have to have a sanitizer. You have to have an oxidizer. You need to do algae prevention. All of these things are part of the core of water care. No matter what road you choose to take for pool maintenance, these are things that you're going to have to do in order to keep your pool clean and clear. But the point of custom water care and specialty chemicals is how do we make that better? How do we make it easier? How do we make that process more enjoyable? And you have to focus in on where do the customers find value? And across the board, anytime a customer is purchasing something, whether it's a service or a product, they either want to save time, they want to save money, or they want to have a better experience. So you have to focus in on how can I save them time, save them money, or have a better experience. And that's how this webinar is, is going to be focused today, is how do we do that for our customers? So let's start here. If you ask a pool owner, especially one that's a do-it-yourself pool owner, what is your customer's what What is your biggest fear? What do you fear most about taking care of your pool? Across the board, probably 99 out of 100 of them say, I'm afraid that my pool is going to turn green. To them, that is the absolute worst thing that could happen to them. I'm afraid that my pool is going to turn green. So let's start with that for, for specialty chemicals. So we have a product called GreenAid, and GreenAid is an amazing algae treatment product. It is quick, efficient, very effective at getting rid of killing all types of algae. Now you use GreenAid in conjunction with an EPA registered sanitizer. So you're, you're pairing it with chlorine and as you're putting it in, you're following it up with a couple of different uh, um, doses of chlorine behind it. But this is a no metal approach to killing all sorts of algae. One of the types of algae that we struggle with the most to get rid of is mustard algae. Mustard algae is resistant to chlorine. It's more difficult to get rid of. So GreenAid is very good, very effective at getting rid of mustard algae. So if your customer's biggest, biggest fear is my pool's going to turn green, 
green aid is something that can certainly help take care of that problem for them. So if we're going to talk about green aid and talk about algae cleanup, let's talk a little bit about the, the chemicals that go along with that to help either clean up after a problem or to help keep problems from happening. So we're going to talk about three basic specialty chemical categories today. We're going to talk just very quickly about clarifiers and then we're going to spend some time talking about enzymes and phosphate removals removers. These are the products that are going to, going to help that customer save time, save money, or provide the better swimming pool experience. So these are the chemicals that are going to add value to your customers. So we're going to start with a really quick discussion about clarifiers. Clar there's basically two types of clarifiers that are, are out on the market. We have Kydazen or naturally derived clarifiers, and we have polymeric clarifiers. Now they work very differently, but they do the same sort of thing. So how does a clarifier in general work? Well, the easiest way I, I can explain it is, picture 100 kernels of popcorn. And if you have 100 kernels of popcorn and you need to clean them up, you could pick them up one by one, right? Eventually, you would pick up all the kernels of popcorn and you would be able to clean up your mess. But what if it was in a popcorn ball? I don't know about you guys, I grew up in the Midwest and popcorn balls were a staple for Halloween. It was what we always wanted. My grandma always made them. It was the best part of our Halloween treats. My parents hated them because they're full of sugar and they make you crazy. But that was our favorite part of Halloween was getting a popcorn ball. So a popcorn ball is very simple. It takes popcorn, obviously, and something sugary like Cairo syrup or something along those lines. And it will take those 100 kernels of popcorn and it will turn it into a big sticky ball. And that concept is exactly what a clarifier does. So would it be easier to pick up 100 kernels of popcorn or would it be easier to pick up one already bound together popcorn ball? A popcorn ball, right? It's so much easier to get all of the popcorn when it's already all stuck together. And that concept is how clarifiers work. It takes the, clarifiers take the small bits of dirt and debris, dead algae, the things that you need to clean up from your pool, and through a process called bridging, which sticks the particles together and helps hold them together, it makes larger, larger balls or larger amounts of debris, larger pieces of debris that the filter can catch. So instead of having to catch 100 small pieces of debris, you're catching one large ball of debris. So your filter has to work less, it catches more, and it can clean things up more quickly. So when you're putting a clarifier in, and we're going to talk about a couple of different options for clarifier, you're going in and you're making popcorn balls out of the dirt and debris that's in the water and making it easier for your filter to remove them. So we have a couple of different types of clarifiers. We have our C Clear Kytosin clarifier. This clarifier is made from recycled shells discarded from the seafood industry. So we're taking something that would otherwise go in a landfill and be absolutely useless, take up space, probably never degrade, and we are turning that into a top-notch, very effective pool water clarifier. So this particular product is great for service people specifically because you can follow immediately with a shock. So we call that our shock and shine, right? You can shock the pool, you can put the guys in clarifier at the same time, and you'll see that that pool, if it has a little bit of a haze or is a little bit cloudy, it will clear right up very quickly. One good thing about this clarifier is you can't overdose it. So if you get a little heavy handed with it, you're not gonna cause any additional problems in the water. On the other side, for a polymeric clarifier, we have our natural chemistry clear and perfect clarifier. So this clears cloudy water also, improves filtration, still making the popcorn balls just by a different action and a little bit of different scientific approach to it. It's very concentrated, but for this particular product, you do want to make sure you don't overdose on it. So if you overdose on this product, you can cause a bigger issue in the water and actually make the cloudiness worse. Either one of these products, though, good for any type of pool or spa. I always tell people, and you a little tongue-in-cheek humor for it, you sell the clear and perfect to the women who can read directions, and you sell the Kydas and Clarifier to the men who can't. So, I don't know, not, not to be sexist, but just a, a kind of a funny way to approach it. Both are good clarifiers 
uh, both are very effective at what they do. Alicia, do I need to uh, clean the filter more often if I use uh, one of those clarifiers? So when you're using a clarifier on a regular basis, you will see that the filter can clog up a lot more quickly just because you're removing more dirt and debris at a faster pace. So yes, it's you always, if you have a sand filter, watch the pressure. If you have a cartridge filter, make sure you're rinsing. You know, if you have a DE filter, you can bump or backwash it. But yes, you certainly want to keep an eye on your filter. Now, how often you have to clean it, honestly, depends on how much stuff was in the pool that needed to be removed. So it's going to vary as far as how often you're going to have to clean it, but it certainly can impact your filter runtime. Sure. Thanks. So clarifiers in general are good for a quick fix, kind of a Band-Aid approach. You had a problem, you need some help getting rid of it. Clarifiers come in and they help clean up the mess. But if you pair clarifiers with something like an enzyme, which we're getting ready to talk about the technology behind enzymes, then you can treat the root of the problem and using them together will give you the ultimate water clarity without hopefully having to go through that process of seeing it get cloudy or hazy and cause a bigger problem. So let's talk a little bit about enzyme technology. And this is something natural chemistry has been very good at for a long time. And these products can really add a lot to your pool maintenance routine and make life a lot easier. So let's start out with what is an enzyme. An enzyme is a non-living protein and it will go into a swimming pool environment, bind to non-living organics and break them down. It breaks them down into their most basic pieces such as water, air, carbon dioxide into their most basic building blocks. And then they can be reabsorbed back into the water but not cause problems in the actual pool. So they go in, now again, they break down non-living organics. So enzymes aren't killing bacteria or anything like that, but they're breaking down the non-living organics that you find in the swimming pool environment. Now, all enzymes are not the same. Um, there are different enzymes out there, but the concept of an enzyme and the way it works is pretty straightforward. You have an enzyme, you put it in the water. It's got a specific kind of shape to it. So it's suited to break down something specific in the water. When it finds that, I call that the substrate. The substrate will bind to the enzyme. There's a chemical reaction that occurs and the enzyme itself breaks apart the substrate or breaks apart the contaminant that it came into contact with. And it, like I said, it breaks it down into the building blocks, the small pieces, and then it can't cause any additional problems in the water. So the enzyme goes in, it finds what it's able to bind to, breaks it down, gets rid of it, and it's something that your chlorine doesn't have to deal with or your oxidizer doesn't have to deal with. So it can help remove some of that non-organic contamination to clear the way for your other chemicals to work more efficiently. Now, natural chemistry enzyme products are what we call broad spectrum enzymes. So we put a very wide range of enzymes in our mix so that we can attack a very wide range of non-living waste that you find in pools and spas. You can use our enzymes as maintenance products. You can use them as problem solvers. We're gonna talk a little bit about both options, but our range of enzymes is targeted towards the types of things that you would find in swimming pools, but we've put a wide range in there to attack a lot of the different types of things that you would find in swimming pools. So this is really what an enzyme does as far as making the experience for the customer better, right? Your sanitizer, your main job that you want your sanitizer to do in a pool is to control bacteria. That's how we keep swimmers safe. That's how we keep them from getting sick. So your main job of your sanitizer is to control bacteria. What an enzyme can do is it can go in and clear out some of the riffraff or the distractions. Things that chlorine would have to combine with, things that chlorine would have to break down and attack. And if an enzyme is going in there and doing that work instead, that will free your chlorine up to go focus on the bacteria. It'll free your chlorine up to do the killing that it needs to do in order to keep swimmers safe. So the enzyme can't do that work for the chlorine. It can't control bacteria or kill anything but it can control the other stuff that get in the way of your chlorine and free up your chlorine to do the job that you really need it to do, which is kill bacteria and sanitize. 
So pool and spa public enemy number one is non-living organic, organic contamination. It can come from a lot of different places. We tell people to shower before they get in the pool. They don't. You know, we ask that people try to you know, not use a lot of lotions and creams, but they do. So all of these things are coming into the pool. And these are the types of things that enzymes can help get out of the way so your chlorine does a better job and is able to be more efficient. Suntan lotion is one of the big things that you find in swimming pools that enzymes can help with. Cosmetics, makeup, things like that. If you've ever seen a teenage girl get into a swimming pool, it's like an oil slick just happened the minute they hit the water. Those are the types of things that enzymes can go after, break down, get out of the way, so that your chlorine can do its main job of killing bacteria. Bather waste is another thing that comes into the pool. You get a lot of bather waste introduced. The more people that come in, the more bather waste that you have. If you have a pool party, 10 little leaguers have been in your pool all day long and they've had 80 juice boxes and your bathroom floor is still dry, you probably have some stuff in the pool that needs to be broken down. Enzymes can help do that. So the moral of the story is swimmers leave behind a lot of waste. Now this picture cracks me up. I don't believe they're practicing safe social distancing at this point. I don't see any masks on anybody. So I'm guessing that this picture isn't very recent when it was taken, but this, this actually is a true picture that happened in a pool. But can you imagine the amount of waste that got left behind in this water with all of these people that are in it? Enzymes can help with that. So why should you use enzymes as a maintenance product? Well, there's a couple of different benefits to doing that. One, you're going to increase your filter runtime. So the more you break down into the basic building blocks, the less your filter has to catch and remove. And the less your filter has to catch and remove, the longer it runs before you have to clean it, the longer it runs before you have to rinse it off. Enzymes are going to help prevent the buildup of scum at your water line. That bathtub ring that you get in swimming pools, service professionals hate it. They have to scrub it off every week when they're there. If you're adding an enzyme to the pool as on a maintenance basis, you'll start to see that go away and you won't get that buildup. You're gonna increase overall the efficiency of the chemicals in your pool. It will help your chlorine be more successful by removing some of the distractions. You're going to increase the efficiency of everything that you're putting in the water because there's less garbage, less contamination in the way of your chemicals. And overall, you're going to end up with superior water clarity with a lot less work. So again, we want to save time, we want to save money, we want to provide a better experience for customers. Superior water clarity is definitely a better experience with less work is going to save them time. So enzymes are something that certainly add value to the customer experience. So this is just showing a little bit of filter cleaning. Nobody likes to do this job. It takes forever, it's dirty. Those filters get heavy. So less of this if you're using enzymes on a regular basis. So which natural chemistry con products contain enzymes and what do they do? Well, we have kind of two approaches to enzymes. We have our maintenance products. And some of you are familiar with these. We have our Pool Perfect Total. We have our, our, pool, our new Pool Perfect Max, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Pool Perfect Plus Phosphory, our Spa Perfect products, Saltwater Magic. These are our maintenance products, products that you're going to add every week in order to continuously break down that non-living contamination. On the other side, we have our problem solvers or our as-needed products that can help solve particular issues. Our pool first aid, I'm gonna hold on that, we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. I'll show you some pictures of what pool first aid can do. Our pool magic plus phosphory is our opening and closing product. Spa Purge and Purge, those are aimed at cleaning out your plumbing and your lines. We'll talk a little bit about those. Uh, Clean and Perfect is aimed at cleaning your surfaces. We have our Spa Pipe Cleanse. So these are problem solving or as needed types of products. So on the left side, these are your weekly products. On the right side, you have your, your problem solving type of products. Every one of these products contains enzymes. So let's take a little closer, work at a couple, a closer look at a couple of them. Pool Perfect is one of the flagship natural chemistry products. It has our SmartZyme technolo technology, which is our proprietary enzyme technology. 
So adding fulvorbic on a weekly basis is adding enzymes on a weekly basis. So you're breaking down non-living contamination, you're saving time for the homeowner, you're saving the buildup or, or preventing the buildup of the scum line that happens at the edge of the pool. You can remove unpleasant odors and overall you're helping keep the water clear. So this again, weekly maintenance product, a lot of people love this product. They put it in, put in a few ounces every week and you're just adding enzymes continuously to help make everything in your pool more efficient. Spa Perfect, so Pool Perfect is aimed at working the best at 95 degrees and less. Spa Perfect formulated a little bit differently. It's aimed at working at 95 degrees and above. So a similar approach as Pool Perfect, changed a little bit to work at the higher temperatures of a spa, but same concept. You're breaking down non-living contamination. You're, you're helping prevent the water line. You're helping provide crystal clear sparkling water in the spa, which we all know is hard to do in spa chemistry. And again, it is formulated for hot water and it is targeted at the types of waste you find in spas. And if you've ever really looked at spa chemistry, I teach a whole class on spa chemistry. There is a lot of garbage that goes into spas from the average adults that soak in them. So spa perfect, great product weekly to go in, help break down some of that contamination and garbage and make the spa experience better. So overall, do enzymes add value? If you if you put them to the test, do they save time? Yes, they, they end up creating less work for the swimming pool or for the pool owner. Do they save money? Yes, your chemicals are more efficient, so you're adding less, they're lasting longer, so you're saving money for the customer. Do you have a better swimming experience, superior water clarity, less scum line to look at? Yes, you have a better experience. So enzymes check all the boxes, for adding value to a consumer. So if you're a service professional, add them to your service, your weekly service route. If you're a retail specialist, then start talking to your customers about the value that enzyme can add, enzymes can add. So just a couple things to take a look at. We did a commercial dealer trial with our Prozymes product, which is our enzyme blend. We use this at different types of pools and we were looking at what kind of impact it had on, how much oxidizer did you use? How much scum line still formed? What was your water clarity like? How was the operation of your automatic controller systems? Do you just notice anything different? So this was done at commercial pools and I just grabbed three of the, the results that really stood out to me. One pool said their chlorine usage decreased about 23% in the season. That's a lot of savings money-wise for a commercial pool. Another one said 22% reduction in liquid chlorine when they started adding prozymes. The third one was a salt pool. It ran at 80% capacity 24 seven to maintain an acceptable residual. Within two weeks of starting to apply the prozymes, they were able to lower it to 40% capacity to maintain the same residual. So you can see the enzymes going in can make a big impact on the rest of the chemistry happening in the water. So our pool first aid product, this was the on the troubleshooting side of things, right? So this is an enzyme with a clarifier added to it. So we blended them together into a product called pool first aid. And the focus for first aid is troubleshooting. This is a cleanup product, a problem solver. You can use it at pool opening, you use it during pollen season, you can use it to help clear, clear up dead algae after you've had an algae bloom. This product is so good. I'm gonna show you some pictures here in a minute at what it does. And what it does is clean up messes. Couple things to note for this product, you want your chlorine to be less than five parts per million when you add it. And that's pretty much true for any enzymes that you're adding to a pool is you want your chlorine to be less than five parts per million. And you do not want to shock within 48 hours of applying it. You need to let it do its job and break down the contamination that it's going to break down before you follow with a shock treatment. Water that's below 70 degrees will slow it down a little bit. I'm not saying it won't work, but it will work a little slower as the water gets colder. But overall, this product is very good at cleaning up messes. So this picture, it's not the best picture, but you can see, especially around the ladder, you can see the pollen that builds up on the surface of the pool. I live in the South. We spend at least four to six weeks of our spring 
washing yellow pollen off of our cars and watching it build up on the surfaces of our pools. So adding pool first aid will help break down that pollen. It will help keep it from clogging up your filter, get it out of the pool environment so you don't have to look at it, you don't have to skim it off. This picture shows on the left, it shows the enzyme and surfactant working together. And most enzymes are blended with the surfactant. And the point of the surfactant is it will pull all of the contamination that the enzyme needs to break down into the water. So it keeps it down into the water, gets it off the sides where it might otherwise cause the water line buildup. And the surfactant's job is to get everything off the sides and off the surfaces and into the water so that the enzyme can go to work and break it down. So that picture on the left is showing the surfactant getting everything out into the water so the enzyme's starting to break it down. The picture on the right, you can see all the bubbling that's going on. This is a cool first aid at work. And you're seeing that because it's in the process of breaking down that non-living living contamination, breaking it down into the building blocks of the water and air and carbon dioxide and the basic building blocks of what make up that contamination. This particular pool on the left, you can see this pool was vandalized with motor oil actually, and they treated it, nothing else but pool first aid. Same pool to the right, this is 24 hours later, and you can see that the pool first aid broke down and removed all of the motor oil that would otherwise probably still be floating in the water or be stuck to the filter and causing problems in the actual pool. So our PURGE product, very quickly, this is an enzyme and surfactant product also, but the point of PURGE is it goes into a swimming pool environment and cleans out the plumbing. So it can dislodge anything that gets built up in the plumbing and the lines, things that you can't see, but all sorts of things can be growing in your plumbing. This can lead to clogged filters, it can lead to foaming in the pool, odor. Um, using purge can help reduce chlorine demand. If you have stuff in the pipes that's flow in, the, growing in the pipes, as chlorine flows through there, it doesn't know the difference between treating what's in the pipes versus what, treating what's in the pool. So if there's bacteria, slime, mold, anything that's growing in those pipes, it can distract your chlorine and eat it up before it ever gets out into the main body of the pool. What PURGE does is it's a surfactant, so it's gonna help break loose all of that stuff that are that's in the pipes. And then as it gets blown out into the water, the enzyme portion of the product will break that stuff down and get rid of it. So it will keep things from accumulating in the pipe and help make that process easier to clean up. So one bottle of PURGE you can put into up to two skimmers. If you have more than two skimmers, just add another bottle of PURGE to the process, but great product to help clean out your lines and keep them free of slime and mold and all that stuff that gets built up in your plumbing. So this just shows the pool after PURGE has been added. Um, you can I see that there to... was... Oh, uh, well, sorry, Lisa, I just wanted to point out that uh, buildup of, of in that biofilm and and what's you know builds up in your plumbing lines is a growing concern uh of uh, chemists that i talk to uh it you know we we think that in certain cases it's been responsible for outbreaks and and uh keeping those clean is a is a rising concern i just wanted to point that out about purge and purge is great because the surfactant is going to help loosen all of that buildup, whether whatever it is, and, and get it out into the main body of the pool so that it can be treated. The enzymes in purge will then break down the non-living portion of the contamination, and then anything that might have been growing or living is now out in the body of the pool where the chlorine can do its job and take care of it. So it definitely can make a big impact on keeping the pool clean and clear. A lot of times you have a reoccurring hazy pool that you can't just quite figure out why you can't get it clear. When you purge the pipes, you'll see that there was a lot of stuff growing in there that were contributing to that. That's right. So, no. so this pool just shows that this was uh, right after purge was added. You can see how much stuff got pulled out of the lines and out into the main body of the pool. And the enzyme is going to work on the non-living contamination to get it broken down. So let's summarize enzymes a little bit before we move on to some phosphate removal discussion. Enzymes are a great addition to your weekly maintenance routine. They will enhance any pool care program that you have a customer on. So they are a great addition. They reduce overall time and effort needed 
to keep the pool clean, clear, and ready for swimming. And ultimately, that's all a customer wants, is they want their pool to be clean, clear, ready for swimming with as little effort as possible. So adding enzymes to the pool environment will certainly help make that easier. So let's move on and discuss phosphates. Um, phosphates come from a lot of different areas. They're hard to keep out of the pool because they can come from so many different places. They come from the environment, they come from fertilizer, they come from water sources. They can come from a lot of different places. Why do we test for phosphates? So phosphates can cause a lot of different problems within a pool, a lot of different impact on your water chemistry. Overall, the more phosphate you have in the water, the more time and energy you need to maintain the clarity of the pool. The more phosphate you have in the water, the more likely you are to form calcium phosphate scale, which we are gonna talk about here shortly. And you're just more likely to have reoccurring pool problems as your phosphate level gets higher and higher. So let's talk a little bit about, the, about phosphates. This picture you see, True or false, I know you can't actually answer me and I don't want all 230 of you to come off mute and give me an answer, but true or false, this is the best time to test for phosphates in a pool. And the answer is false. In this situation, the algae that's blooming in the pool is taking up all of the phosphate it can get a hold of and holding on to it. So if you tested for phosphate in this pool, you get an inaccurate reading for that. Now, once you kill the algae and it lets go of the phosphate, if you test it again, you would get a much more accurate reading on what the phosphate level is. So while your pool's green and gunky and, and has a, a, a problem, not the best time to get an accurate phosphate reading in your pool. So let's explore a little bit about what the impact of high phosphates. First of all, let's take a look at equipment. Scaling is, is a big problem for any type of equipment, right? Your heater, your salt cell, whatever that is, scaling can cause a lot of issues within your pool equipment. The chlorine generator cell is particularly difficult because the high pH environment that's inside a salt cell contributes even more to the tendency of the water to form scale. So high pH drives the formation specifically of calcium carbonate scale. So once you form calcium carbonate scale inside a salt cell, it has no trouble at all sticking to those cell plates, right? And those plates are, are the part of the salt cell where the electricity passes between them. And as the electricity passes between the cell plates, it breaks down the salt molecule and ultimately creates the free available chlorine molecule that then is in the pool to do its job. So as you build up scale, you can't pass that charge through the cell very, very easily. You're going to decrease how much chlorine you can generate. You're going to increase how much time your cell has to run in order to maintain your residual. And overall, you're decreasing the life of the cell. So the high pH environment inside of the salt cell will lead to the formation of calcium carbonate scale. A high phosphate environment in the pool will lead to the formation of calcium phosphate scale. And because calcium carbonate is super rough and sticky and it has no trouble at all sticking to the cell plates, calcium phosphate scale can then stick to the cell plates also because it gets stuck inside or onto the calcium carbonate scale. So in general, calcium phosphate scale is kind of light and flaky. You can brush it away usually, falls out of solution very, very quickly, very easily, but it's not real sticky but calcium carbonate scale is sticky and calcium phosphate scale can stick to calcium carbonate scale very easily. So when you have a scale buildup problem, especially inside of a salt cell, you'll often see layers of scale. One's calcium carbonate and then calcium phosphate scale piles on and makes the problem even worse. So calcium phosphate scale, if you're gonna test for it, it's a little bit tricky. A lot of times you'll test and you'll say, I don't, I don't see, I don't know if this is calcium phosphate scale or not. I've got these little white flakes coming out of the return, which is what you see a lot of times when you have calcium phosphate scale, you get those white flakes coming out of the return. So there's a trick to being able to test for it. So this video, let me hit the play button here. I don't know if you can see in this picture, but you see the white flaky stuff that is around the main drain. And that is calcium 
phosphate scale. But in order to test for that, it gets a little bit tricky. So the easy, this is just what calcium phosphate scale looks like if you are able to separate it from the water and gather it up in a cup. So in order to test for this, you take your phosphate test and you gather some of these white crystals. Now to put in that vial, you put in bottled water. You see a bottled water there. You would test for zero phosphates. So you put in bottled water, you test, you have zero phosphates. You add some of these white flakes that you were able to remove from the pool and you repeat the test. So bottled water, no phosphates, obviously, right? You put the flakes in, you run the test again, and then you're going to see that all of a sudden you get a phosphate reading. Now this picture isn't real clear to be able to see the blue just from the way the video was shot, but this test would have shown the presence of phosphates in that vial. And that's because those white flakes that you were able to collect had phosphate in them, it's phosphate, calcium phosphate scale, and now you're able to test for it because you put some of the flakes into the water. So this just shows a salt cell that has a lot of scale built up on it. I have seen many salt cells that look just like this. This cell is not going to effectively create a free available chlorine residual, whether it's in a pool or a spa. So especially with salt systems, calcium phosphate scale can be a big issue. Now this is a good time to highlight a brand new product that Natural Chemistry Spa is releasing with the uh, the introduction of a lot of salt systems in spas now. We are introducing our spa phosphate remover. So this is a product that's going to go in, it removes phosphates from tubs. It's ideal for tubs that have salt systems on them. Uh, one ounce of this bottle treats 500 gallons and it is a very effective product removing the phosphate from the water and helping reduce the buildup of calcium phosphate scale. So do the math. You remove phosphates from the water, you end up with less scale, you end up with less contaminants, and all of that equals less issues in your pool and better water quality. So removing phosphates ultimately, ultimately leads to better water quality overall. So how do we take phosphates out? The only way to take phosphates out is to precipitate them and physically remove them. Some phosphate removers will flock them and you end up vacuuming them out of the system. Other phosphate removers will use the filter to physically remove phosphates, but the only effective way to remove or the only way to remove phosphates is to physically remove them. So one of the, the most effective ways to remove low levels of phosphates is on the actual filter. And when you're using the filter itself to remove it, you won't get that cloudy water that you often get when you're using a phosphate remover. And we're gonna talk about a couple of the different kinds of phosphate removers that you can use. So Natural Chemistry Phosphree, this product, again, one of the flagship products of the Natural Chemistry brand, this product, focuses on the lower levels or is easiest to use to remove the lower levels of phosphate. It does not cloud the water when you put it in, so it's great as a maintenance product to help maintain low levels of phosphates. When you're putting it in, you're putting it directly into the filter so that the, you're using the actual filter to remove the phosphates on the filter media or the filter surface. So it doesn't cloud the whole pool when you put it in. It's a gradual removal if you're trying to do higher levels of a phosphate without clouding the water. So you may have to do several dosages of it if you're going after higher levels, but it is a great product to remove and maintain low levels of phosphate. So clean or backwash your filter before you put it in. So you're starting with a good fresh filter that works well, and then clean or backwash the filter 48 hours after applying it. So overall, again, you don't have the cloudy water situation when you put it in. A lot of customers don't like that. So using phosphory, removing lower levels of phosphate very effectively without causing cloudy water. But phosphate removal has become a bigger and bigger issue and phosphates become more challenging, right? Our environment introduces more phosphates. Overall, swimming pools are gaining levels of phosphates more quickly than they used to because there's a lot more things contributing to phosphates in the pool water. So phosphate removal has to evolve, it has to keep up. And we have done some, some chemistry and some product enhancements to take our phosphate removal to the next level. 
So we took it to the max with our phosphate removal products. And we're going to talk about our max products here in a minute. But this is in response to just the ever-changing environment of we need to do better. We need to be more effective at taking out higher levels of phosphates because we're seeing higher levels of phosphates in the pool environment. So first, let's talk about Phosphory Max. This is our biggest, baddest, strongest, highest range phosphate remover that we have in any of our product lines. This, the focus is to take out high levels of phosphate and it can take a high level of phosphate and reduce it to near zero in 24 hours. Very simple dosing on this product. Half a bottle for 10,000 gallons, a whole bottle for 20,000 gallons. Now, a couple of notes. This is going to cloud your pool when you put it in. That's the product going to work and starting to remove the phosphates as you're adding it. So it will cloud the pool when you're putting it in. I'm going to show you some pictures here in a minute of, of just how fast it works, but just be aware and set the right expectation for your customers that if you're adding phosphory max, you're going to have a cloudy pool for a short period of time. But very, very effective at removing high levels of phosphate. So just real quick, this is a great time to talk about our phosphate test kit. You, When you're trying to remove high levels, you obviously want to be able to confirm that you've gotten them out of the pool. Um, Natural Chemistry offers free phosphate test kits to anyone that purchases our products. So um, if you purchase Natural Chemistry products, all you have to do is ask, and we're happy to provide phosphate test kit for you in order for you to monitor and make sure that you are keeping the phosphate levels low where they're supposed to be. So this pool, this pool is actually um, belongs to one of our employees. And he said, I looked at my pool, it didn't look good. It wasn't very clear. And it just, just didn't look like it was in very good shape. He tested his phosphate level, it was very high. He added Phosphory Max to the pool. And you can see his pool clouded over, which we would expect when you add Phosphory Max. He waited 15 minutes and he added our Kytosin clarifier to it. So this was about, I think the timestamp on the original photo was around four o'clock in the afternoon. So he added Phosphory Max. He um, watched the pool cloud over. He added Kytosin clarifier along with it, which is always a good idea if you're going to do a high level phosphate remover to add a, a clarifier along with it. So he added the Kytosin clarifier and the very next morning, the pool was crystal clear. Now it's got a little bit of, it looks like it has a green tinge to it. He assured us it's not green at all. It's just the way the lighting hits the color of his pool surface. But you can see from where we started, let me go back one more, murky, not clear, right? Doesn't look great to cloudy as we added the Phosphory Max. He tested his phosphate levels were near zero and his pool was crystal clear. So this is just a combination of Phosphory Max and Kyazin Clarifier, and he was able to do that within a few hours. So let's take a quick look back at some of the natural chemistry core technologies, right? We talked about Pool Perfect and how it's a weekly addition of an enzyme product to help break down non-living contaminants and help make your water more clear, help make your other chemicals more efficient. We talked about Phosphory, right? taking the phosphate levels out, keeping the phosphate level low so that it contributes to good water quality, clarity, good chemical efficiency, everything along those lines. So these two particular products, really good at maintenance, keeping things where they're supposed to be. They morphed into a product called Pool Perfect Plus Phosphory. A lot of you guys are probably familiar with this. Weekly maintenance product, and it combines our enzyme technology to help break down non-living contamination, our phosphory technology to help keep your phosphate levels low, and it created a weekly product that does two jobs in order to contribute to helping the water quality be the best it can be and keeping the water as clear as you can. So you guys are probably have heard of these products, you're familiar with them, but remember we took things to the max, right? So, Pool Perfect Max with Phosphory. We took our pool, our, our Pool Perfect Plus Phosphory, and we amped it up a notch. So this is an enzyme plus phosphate remover plus clarifier all in one bottle. One cap full treats 10,000 gallons, but the focus of this product is it's a weekly maintenance product. It's going to do a lot of things when you put it in. It will help maintain your low phosphate level. It will help 
reduce all the things that can drag down your sanitizer and eat up your sanitizer levels so your chlorine can be more effective. It's going to enhance your water clarity. It's going to help control the scum line in your pool. So this is a great all-in-one weekly maintenance product. Add it once a week. Don't shock within 24 hours just because of the enzymes that are in there. And you want your chlorine to be less than five when you're putting it in. But this is a top-notch, high-quality weekly maintenance product that does all the things you need it to do in order to provide value to the customer. Remember, we're saving on time, we're saving on money, and we're providing them a better experience. So with that, that is our specialty chemical approach to custom water care. Um, I'm gonna give it back to you, Scott. I'm happy to take any questions that we might have time for, but if you want any more information, please feel free to visit us at naturalchemistry.com or on our Facebook page, which is Natural Chemistry Pool Spa. Great, thanks, Alicia. That was great. I, I really learned a lot. Um, and we've gotten a few questions, which I'll get to in a minute, but um, I just first wanted to thank everyone for joining us today and mention that you can get in touch directly with the experts at Natural Chemistry uh, for any other questions that you may have at ncbrands at biolabinc.com or just uh, visit us online at naturalchemistry.com or search natural chemistry pool and spa on facebook to stay up to date uh, with the latest from natural chemistry and uh, also you might want to check out biolabs brand new pro series app designed for pool service professionals this is available for free download on the app store you just have to search Pro Series Pool and Spa. Uh, we do have a few minutes for a few questions. Uh, let's start with the first one. Uh, what's the difference between natural chemistry's enzyme products and the other ones out there uh, on the market? So that's a, a great question, actually. The natural chemistry enzyme product, like I, I kind of mentioned it, but didn't spend a lot of time there is a broad spectrum enzyme. So it is going after the widest range of contamination that's in the pool. So it is aimed at the types of things you would find in swimming pools and it has the best surfactant out there. So it's doing the, the best job of loosening everything, getting them back into the water. And then our enzyme are what we're aiming at is the broadest range of contamination. So other other enzyme products out there, they may be very good at doing one thing or certain targeted things. Maybe you're putting in an enzyme that's really good at breaking down suntan lotion, but if that's not what's causing the problem in your pool, then it's not as effective at helping maintain your water quality. When you put in a broad spectrum enzyme, you're kind of covering a wire, you're throwing a wider net over the contamination that's in the water and you're going to break down more of it. Yeah, you, you mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, different enzymes will target like maybe oils or uh, different types of things. So this sort of gives you uh, a mix of, of a number of different enzymes that will kind of carry the whole, you know, like you say, the spectrum of what's out there. Is that right? Yeah, a good analogy would be it's the difference between taking vitamin C or taking a multivitamin that has vitamin C in it. The vitamin C is very specific and it will do a very specific thing for you. A multivitamin is going to do what vitamin C does, but it's also gonna do a lot of other things for you. So just an analogy, enzymes are not vitamins, but you kind of see the, the point and why you would wanna do a broad spectrum. Gotcha. Um, here's another one. What's the difference between pool perfect plus boss free and pool perfect max? So that's a that's a good question. Pool Perfect Plus Phosphory is a very well-known product from the Natural Chemistry brand, and Pool, Pool Perfect Max is um, definitely something new this year. So Pool Perfect Max adds in the clarifier. So the, the Pool Perfect Plus Phosphory did, did not have a clarifier added into it. So the Max product does have a clarifier already blended into it. So you're adding your maintenance enzyme, phosphate removal, and clarifier all at one time so you don't have to separate any of those products out and it's the, the a little bit stronger than the pool perfect plus phosphory as far as the um enzyme goes so 
it just uh, it, we added the clarifier in, made it a little bit more robust, and it's again all in one Weebly product. You shouldn't have to add any other sort of extra maintenance product if you're using that. Gotcha. Um, here's another one. When is a door not a door? <laughs> you know the answer to that? Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> A, when is a door not a door? It's when it's a jar. When it's a jar. <laughs> you know, my 14-year-old nephew lives for bad jokes and puns. I'll have to share that with him tonight. <laughs> you take all covers here. Okay, uh, back to, um, I use Phosphree Max. How do I get the free phosphate test kits? So anyone that buys natural chemistry products can request the free phosphate test kit. Um, if they don't have a sales rep that they know of or um, not familiar with, then they can reach out via our website at naturalchemistry.com and request the kit there. We have a chat function that they can go through to request the kit, but we are happy to send them out to anyone that is purchasing our products. Okay. Uh, should I be concerned if I'm using a phosphate-based stain and scale product? So that's a good question, and, and that can some, sometimes be a little bit of an industry hot button, maybe. So there's a couple of things to say about that. A phosphate-based stain, stain and scale products are really effective at what they do, and that's prevent staining and scaling, right? So the, the phosphate element of that is what makes those products so effective at preventing scale and staining. Now, if you're, if you're monitoring your phosphate levels and you are, you know, you're trying to keep them super low and you're constantly removing phosphates, then using a phosphate-based stain and scale product may not be the best choice for you. So you can switch. There's plenty of non-phosphate versions out there. We have our metal-free product, we have our scale-free product. We have, there are non-phosphate based stain and scale products out there to choose from. You will lose a little bit of effectiveness when you do that. So the phosphate based version is more effective, but you have to put up with the phosphate part of it to get that effectiveness. So if that's not something you're willing to do, you're not willing to follow up and maybe remove those phosphates, then using a non-phosphate version is definitely something that you have options for but you are gonna lose a little bit of the effectiveness of how that stain and scale product works. So it's a choice, really. Interesting. Um, we're creeping over time, so I think we'll uh, cut it off there. Uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, you'll shortly receive an email with information on how to watch this webinar again or how to share it with colleagues uh, and I would like to encourage everyone to reach out to us if you have trouble accessing the content of this webinar. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming and uh, have a nice day.